Yo, what is good, y'all? It's your boy Top back here with another video. In this video today, we are going to be doing a collab with YBC ranking our top 50, not our top 50, but we're gonna make a tier list over some of the top 50 best point guards and shooting guards in NBA 2K20. Huge shout out to my man's YBC. His link will be in the description. This is going to be part one of the video. Part two will be on YBC's channel, and I will make sure to link that in the description as well. So, YBC, how we doing today? Great, we're doing great. Although, I got something to say before I start with this video. Part one before I start off, I just want to say, keep in mind that we all have our own separate opinions. Ty and I are very separate my team players. We're really my team players. We play the game differently, so if we disagree with something or you guys disagree with something, take it easy on the comment section, please, and thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Me and YBC, you know, we might have our disagreements, but it's all, you know, we respect each other. We both know each other, are pretty good at this game. But yeah, we do have some differences of opinions, which is okay at the end of the day. It's definitely okay. If everybody had the same same opinions, everybody would be running the exact same lineup. So is your first is your, is your first player uh Beasley YBC? Yeah. Alright, so Michael Beasley, if we're if we're talking top 50, top 50, um I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and put Michael Beasley in the B category. What do you what are you thinking about that, YBC? Well, you know me, I like ranking cards pretty high. <laughs> and I would say I would lean towards A, I'm not gonna lie, just because the first card, I would low-key lean A, but I'm I'm satisfied with B actually. I'm okay all right, with all right. All right. Sounds good. We can move them around depending on um kind of how this list goes. I have a feeling yeah. I'm a, I'm gonna start with a lot of people in that B area. Alright. The next card, Ben Simmons. Okay, so we're <sighs> It's good that he's one of the first cards because low key if we have more, it would be. I'm not gonna lie, yeah, it would be tougher to rank if you if we had more up. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. This is like that. <sighs> so this card is all determined about place. Though, I'm not gonna lie, because I myself don't like the big slow releases like Simmons. That's not just mm -hmm. me. I would I would put him in the same tier as Beasley. I'm not gonna. Lie. I'm, that's where I got him too. I got him in yeah. B just because I, I like I like a few point guards a little bit more. And Simmons, I used him the other day, and it, yeah, his release is just pretty slow. Now, nice is your is your next player Bill Walton? Yeah. All right, this is the Opal Bill. So I, I dragged the pink diamond, but we're talking about the Opal Bill Walton, and I'm gonna disagree with almost every single person probably here, and I'm gonna put Bill Walton in C. I'm not gonna lie, I have not used Bill Watson enough to disagree or agree, so I'm gonna let you have this one on this one. Alright, perfect. I like that. I like that. Alright, Blake Griffin. <laughs> this one's tough for me. I'm not really a fan of this card at all, I'm not gonna lie. He, you... he's, he's thick, no homo, on a court, his body frame is glitchy, but his animation, it's, it's just like Simmons, it's slow, and I feel like Blake is also just a slower card than Simmons. I put him I put him in C. Really? You like, you like Ben over Simmons? Uh, over Blake, yeah, just over Blake. I just, I just feel like Ben Simmons has just better animation than, than Blake. I mean, I don't like Blake's jumpers really at all. It's kind of like Draymond's a little bit, similar to Draymond. It is. I don't mind Dre's release. I would probably have him in B, but I'll give you this one. You gave me, you gave me some. I'll give you that. But I, I, I do, do like Blake Griffin. I do. I just don't. I, when I, when I used him, I just struggled a lot trying to, you know, zigzag a little bit behind I feel the screen. You. I feel I, that. I feel that. Now this next card is just. Is it Dave for you? I okay. I, I'm a big I'm a big fan of Dave the Busher, and I'm a little bit biased, so I kind of want to hear what you have to say about this card. Okay. First. Okay. This is a card when I watched your top hundred video. I hate this card. I absolutely hate this card on the offensive end of the court. This card is absolutely terrible for some of the other cards we have on this list. List on the defensive end, he's good, but he's six foot six. What is he gonna do on the court at six foot six? A terrible offensive player. I just, I, I don't, I don't know what you see in this card. So I guess I'm gonna open it up to you. I would put him in C. I don't think that he's in D, D territory yet, but C is where I put him. And it's just, if he was offensively better, I have him in B. But he's not offensively nowhere near as good as Simmons or Beasley. Now I'm a biased David Butcher fan because they didn't back to 2K18. That dude was the only dude that was able to stop low buys in 18. He was a dog back then. Even even this year as well, he has some insane tendencies. He barely he just barely gets blown by. He holds his own. He holds his own against like any I feel like point guard or shooting guard in the game. And I right there is really only what he has in him. I feel like that's good enough for C rather than D. Okay, okay. But then if we're talking about the top, you know, 50 point guards and shooting guards. You think you think he's not at that lowest category? No, I don't. I really don't. Just because of his defense, that's that's really it. You know how those defenders are. Yeah, but he's six six. 
I, I, I love Dave. I love him a lot. I, I don't think that he's in the D. D means, D to me means it's kind of unusable at this stage. I think he belongs in C. 100%. I just don't know, man. I would never, I would never run this Dave card ever, ever. I wouldn't run him, but I think he needs, he needs more respect than. And, and you know, obviously, you know, I love defense. Yeah, that's interesting. I'm not gonna lie. I'm looking at the rest of these cards. I, I guess he does belong in D. And these cards, the rest of these cards, are just absolutely, awesome, right? absolutely. All right. Uh, the next card, DeRozan. Mm -hmm. Dud. Dud. I think he's S. I think he is. I'll give you S. I was thinking A. Hey. I'll, I'll give you S. I just, I, at the shooting guard position, he might be my favorite shooting guard in the game. He really, really yeah. might. He's a dog, no doubt. Draymond, um, C. I'm a Warriors fan, so I'll let you have this one. I, okay, C. C. I'm fine. I'm fine with C. I'm, I'm biased to my Warriors players, so yeah. C is actually cool, I'm not going to lie. Not, not Tim Simmons or, uh, or Beasley territory. Now, Eddie Jones, I love this card, but I can't go higher than B. I love him, though. I don't, I, me and you are opposite, opposite about this card. I'll put him in B just because you like him, but I'm not really the biggest Eddie Jones. Would you go fan. C I, on him? I, I'm fine with C. I, I mean, I, you know, because I think Michael Beasley's better than him just because of the height aspect. Uh, but Eddie yeah. Jones defensively is ridiculous, man. Yeah, let's go C on this one. All right, okay, I'm fine with that. Now Anthony Edwards, look, dog, look, he's C for me. I don't know if I can let that one slide. <laughs> Here, here's I don't know. I'm taking Eddie Jones over Anthony Edwards. Wow. Wow. At, at the, okay. The thing is, I mean, at the shooting guard position, I would too, just because I don't like having two primaries on a court. Mm -hmm. I like just having one and one big lengthy dude, at, 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 you know, at the yeah. shooting guard of one guard. That's how I run. I like running a, a nice, a nice um, playmaker like Edwards or Wade and a nice um, big tall Miyagi. But I, I guess if, if if we consider if we consider Edward the shooting guard, sure, I guess he belongs in the same. I, I just I think I like Ben Simmons a lot more than Edward. At I, the point I like, guard position, but I like Edwards more. But that's, that's okay. Giannis. You don't like the, you don't like the ninety eight card. That's what I realized about you. you don't like I don't. The Dwayne Wade is the only card not he, that I like. Giannis, Six. I'm. I, I gotta go A. I I, I have to. I love Borderline S, I'm okay with it. I like I like Giannis a lot. Borderline S, I like that mindset. I like that. Now, here's where we're gonna disagree with uh, disagree oh, with a lot. Good lord, man. <laughs> we're gonna disagree with this card a lot. We might we might spend like three minutes talking about this card. I'm not gonna lie. For me, for me, Glenn Rice is S. And he's the top five card in the entire game, the best shooting guard in the game. This Glenn Rice is a dog. Top dog. Top elite dog. Now I know it's probably blowing your mind right now, but that's I, lo I love him a lot. I love him so much. Okay, hear me out, though. Hear me out. He's 6'7", which is decent for a shooting guard. Same thing as DeRozan. Okay. DeRozan is a much better defender. Okay. I don't know about much better. I don't know about much better. He's a better defender. Okay, let's see. I don't let's... know. I don't know. Glenn Rice is... Okay, his wingspan's not but it. Doesn't DeRozan have gold clamps? No, it's half. It must have switched. He, okay, all right. Interesting. He has gold range. That's what he does have. Yeah, it's it's half range too. Oh, it is. Okay. I'm pretty confident. I'm pretty confident. But, um, the thing is, I just in the half court, Glenn can move right, but in the full yeah. court, his dribble six aren't good. His tween's not. Good. And I'm not gonna say DeRozan's dribble six are that good too, but they can both move in the half court, right? They both can move in the half court. DeRozan. I person, this is my personal opinion. Y'all can flame me in the chat if you want, or in the comments if you want. I like DeRozan's release more than Glenn Rice's release. That's just all opinion based. I'm not gonna lie. You guys just agree, disagree on that one. But with Glenn Rice, I think he has the fastest and easiest base nine gate release to green. On top of that, he's six foot seven. Like usually, when you get taller, the release gets slower. But for Glenn Rice, it gets faster and better. It. I and was he's only missed, like seven badges in the entire game too. I would say this. Dwayne Wade's release for me is so much smoother than any other base 98. When you're comparing Joe Caldwell, Glenn Rice, all these cards, you know, Dwayne Wade's release is on top. To I me. feel like Glenn has the best. And the body frame too, I feel like he has the best base 98 body frame too. We look at, we look at Lucas, let's be honest, he's, he's iffy when it comes to body frame. Wade is a little short, Edwards is, is still a little bit short, Caldwell's a little bit short. I just feel like Glenn Rice, mm -hmm. that's just me though. Glenn Rice is S tier for me. Now we can move over. We, you know, that's just me. Where, where would you put him? I have him right now at C tier, and here's why. 
Here's why. I'll explain. I will explain. I'm taking Eddie Jones 10 times out of 10 over Glenn Rice. See, I stopped it. I, I, I knew I knew we were gonna have a, I knew we were gonna talk about this card a lot in this video. I knew it. And I, now, I don't see that. I don't see it. And now, when you're comparing Michael Beasley and Glenn Rice, I'm personally taking Beasley. But I will say this. I will say this. I will say this. I can understand those comparisons. You know, Beasley to Eddie, Beasley to Beasley. I can see those. I can I can see where you're like he's higher than him. Now, when you're comparing Glenn Rice to the Rosen, I don't see that. I do 100%. I don't. But, but since we got to move on, really. I can move him to B. Okay, I can B, move him to B. B. Just because we have to move on. We can literally stay here for an hour. Iggy, uh, C. <laughs> yeah, C, 3 and D. Come that's now, really now Jonathan Isaac's an interesting card because going into two, like going into my um, subathon this weekend, I wasn't a huge fan, and then I played with him on an account. This card's incredible. He is incredible. I'll give him an A. A. I'm not gonna lie. Have you used him? I have. I, I locked him in on PC, but to be honest, he, he's a little bit underwhelming. He's a little bit underwhelming. He is. But he's, he is. He yeah, is. I will say that. And I feel like that's the initial like opinion. Everybody's like, man, he's not as good as he, which he's not. He's not as good as you would think he'd be, but he's still solid. He's still yeah, solid. Yeah, I'm cool. With, I'm cool with Giannis, dear. I feel like he's, I, he's I'll, I'll let you lead this next one. Oh, Steven Jackson. I'll let you lead. It's an interesting card. You and DBG seem to like this card. I'm a little bit iffy on him. I'm, I'm really using. I'm using that much, honestly. I'm iffy too. I I would go see. You know, I, yeah. I I know DVG loves the card. He thinks he's you know better than Melo. I don't I don't know. I just don't, I don't know. I don't know about that one. Mel, Mel, the thing is, Mel, Melo in real life gets disrespected in 2K. He gets disrespected as well. He's all getting disrespected. But I think Melo is a top dog. I mean, I probably consider him top ten at the small four position, borderline if, top twelve. If he could shoot top. corner threes, I would agree. But they fixed the jumper though, didn't they? They did fix his jumper, but he still can't shoot corner threes. I thought they fixed it, but I thought I thought he could a little bit more consistently. But that jumper is just bad. Mm, Jalen, it's, it's, it's 2K. <laughs> it is 2K. Jalen Rose. Um, I'm gonna go A. I used the card lately, a. and I like him. I used it. I two weeks ago I would have said C, but I've used the card lately. He has that Pro 8 tween. He has a very good release. I think he's better than Ben Simmons. What do you I think? Would, I would consider better than Ben Simmons too, just because of the slow jump. I like fast jumpers. Mm -hmm. But then again, just me, he's not better than Glenn or Beasley. I think at, le at least Beasley or Glenn got to be in the A, like based on what we're having. But then again, I don't know, Beasley and Glenn. I, I feel like honestly, B is perfect for Rose because you're comparing Rose to Isaac and Giannis. I feel like a comparison for Beasley and Simmons is honestly a little bit more. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. And more than anything for me, probably the height of Isaac and Giannis and how good they are defensively. I, I can see that. Yeah. All right. Let's see. We've done, you know, 15 players. All right. John Morant. Um, D. We're talking about all the guards in the game. I think D. I mean, 6'3". I just, I don't know. Jalen Brown. Honestly, I haven't used this card that much. I'm not going to lie. He's not um, bad, but I think C is the right fit for him. I mean, yeah, I don't think he's, he's D. And I know we got a lot of C-tier players right now. Maybe we'll move some up eventually, you know. But um, I, I, I don't know about Jalen, man. I just don't know. Jimmy, what are, you, what are your thoughts on Jimmy? Before I give my thoughts, what are your thoughts? I know you love him a lot. Uh, personally, I think that he is a glorified Iguodala card. I'm not going to lie. Glorified as in... A little bit better defensively, a little bit taller, a little better of a body frame. But honestly, I don't think that he can create his own shot like Glenn Rice and Beasley can. That's a thing. Okay. But defensively, defensively, I feel like he's better than the cards in C. So I, I would put him in B. Just just because I feel like he's better than most of the cards. He can defend most of the cards in C. I feel like for the, defensively wise, he belongs in the B category in terms of the cards that he could defend in the game. Like, let's be honest. Guys in C aren't really going to hang with the guys in B or above. Yes, this is true. And one thing I do want to say about Jimmy Butler is right now, I personally would have him in A, but this is my, that's my opinion. So B is fine, but Jimmy Butler, I love him. He has a great release. I don't mind his half court dribble six. I really don't mind him at all. I, I tend to create my own shot with Jimmy better than anybody at C. Um, yeah. For the shooting guard see, position. This is, where we disagree. this is where we disagree a lot, like in play styles. For me, and I Besides said Besides Edwards, Jimmy, Edwards, I mean. I... I when it comes to the corners and like the forwards, it, assuming you run Jimmy Butler at forward yeah. or guard, wherever, 
um, small forward shooting guard. I love playmakers everywhere. Tall, I like a mixture of tall and just playmaking players. I feel like for me personally, defense come with a lot of cards, so I'm not really worried about defense that much. That's when it comes to Jimmy Butler card. You for A, your play style, I feel like he would be A. But for me, maybe my play style, he's more so B just because I honestly struggle a lot more on offense and defense. So I like and, I need more playmakers on the court. And that's the thing about it. Like, I think for me, it's like I run my offense through my point guard, whether it's Giannis, LeBron, Magic. It's, it's, that's my offense. And so my yeah. shooting guards are like Jimmy Butler. I guess DeRozan can play make a little bit, but I really don't do that much with DeRozan either. And it's like, so I guess it, it is just a difference of play styles a yeah. little bit. But. And see, for me, it's just like, if you if you, if you you can get a bucket, you can get a bucket. You know, defense will come, I feel like. Mm -hmm. All right, the next card, I just, oh my. Where would I you like, have this card? Okay, man? I'll put it like this. In terms of competitive gameplay, he's not the best card. But for going 12-0 and Unlimited, he's a dog, I feel like. Because he has a cash release, and he could just, I just feel like he has a cash release for like new beginning my team players. Kind of like what DBG said about Taco. When it comes to Taco, you know, he isn't the best comp card, but he is a good card for people who are new at the game. He is, but I would say this. I would say this. Jared's what, 6'6"? Six, six? His half court dribble sticks are okay, but in the full court, he is they're terrible. They're just oh, they're awful. Defensively, he's not that great either. I'll put him in C because I know a lot of people like the card, but I just for me yeah, personally. I feel like people running him in a limited, but not a lot of people in comp, and that's mm -hmm. just how it is with JR. Kawhi, oof, this I mean S. I I I can't go anywhere else with this quad I'm, card. I'm cool with that. Like, are you the best defender in the game? And you can you can defend any card on this list. That's just cool with me. All right, we got five cards left in the first 25. Ooh, out of position, KD. I I I would go S. You know, I, I I'm I'm gonna put him S, and here's why. Because if you're KD is 6'10 at the shooting guard position with Pro 2 and a decent enough release. Defensively, he's going to be pretty good. Do I prefer DeRozan over KD? Yes, but it can go either way. It really, really can. And the bigger you get, you, the better you get, really. You can combo up Giannis and KD at the hashes, mm -hmm. offensively or just defensively, and that's just toxic. It definitely is. Now, this, not, this next card, <laughs> the next two cards, actually. Um, they're one of my favorite players of all time, so yeah, I might be a little bit biased. Okay, Kobe, we'll get we'll get to Kobe. We'll get we'll talk about Kobe when we get there. We got we got to finish Kobe right. first. <laughs> all right, where would you have Clay? I already know what we're gonna get to when we get to Kobe. Uh, for me personally, with Clay, I'm not gonna lie. It pains me to do this. I would put him in D. It pains me to do this, and like it just pains me to do that. Thank you. I I thought you were gonna art like. Thank you. I just I need to, I needed to hear that. All right, Kobe. I'll let you I'll let you take over, YBC. See, I, <laughs> I know where you ranked him in your top hundred video, so I'll let you take over. I don't get why people don't like this card. I would put Kobe in the same tier as Glenn. That's why I put him. So I put him in B, borderline A. But I just consider Glenn and Kobe really, really like close cards of each other. So you see, here's where I disagree. Here's where I disagree. What does Kobe Bryant do on the court better than Jimmy Butler? Create his own shot. He really doesn't, though. His sigs aren't good. How? How could you say? His, his sigs truly are not good. His behind the back is not good. His tween is not good. And the half court, I mean, he's not bad. I'm not going to sit here and say he's, he's bad. I mean, it's not like he's, you know, his, his half court dribble sigs are like LeBron's, but they're not they're not super good. They're not like Dwayne. Like I can't move with Kobe like I can Dwayne Wade. And Kobe that's six, that's Kobe six foot six with a terrible on ball steal tendency. And when I mean terrible, it's fifty four. I'm pretty confident. Um, I just I don't like what he gives me. I mean, even when you compare him, okay, let's say for you for a you standpoint, would you rather have Kobe Bryant or Anthony Edwards at your at your um, let's say at either either guards? That's tough. Um, I mean. Edwards for me, I don't know. I don't even know. I don't even. That's, that's a tough question. I'm not gonna lie. Kobe has the inch. He has the attributes. Probably Kobe. CC Hall of Fame badge. I'm pretty sure I go Kobe. I think he does belong in the same tier as Glenn Rice. I really, really do. Like if it, the thing is, I know for a fact you would choose Jimmy over Kobe. I would choose Kobe over Jimmy. 
really that's, but the thing is it's just his he can make his own shot unlike i feel like butler isn't as good in that territory as kobe i feel like that levels the two cards out even though butler might have defensive ratings over him i feel like kobe for one ducks more we, we, kobe ducks let's be honest kobe ducks compared to like the other cards like butler and some of the cards and see like we take a look at the cards and see especially jr especially jr we take a look at jr I, dunking wise oh, but then again i didn't really co compare jr to cop scene we look at draymond green and Jalen brown and eddie jones let's be honest kobe's a better dunker finisher than those cards i feel like kobe's defense actually wise is better he can move defensively i feel like better than those cards even though still tennessee isn't that good he'd be moving just because of his attributes i mean look i disagree completely um with the fact that at the C tier, I might take Kobe over JR, but that would probably be it. But because I know YBC ranked him in like the top 10, maybe 11, I'll put him in B. Because I know YBC likes the cards, so we, we can find some common ground. I hate Glenn Rice. I hate Kobe Bryant, but I know YBC would have them in A or S. So Yeah, that, that's me. Now, see, you probably have Jimmy in A, but that's just where we are. We, we, mm -hmm. we got a common ground. We do. We do. Now, this next card... It's, this is this is a card you either love him or you hate him. It's a good unlimited card, terrible cop card. And for me, I don't love the card at all. Where do you have? I'll, prob him? I'll probably go C just because we got Walton absolutely. there. Absolutely. Yep. Yep. Um, let's see where we're at. Uh, all right, we got two cards left, and I don't know how you feel about the second card, but let's get to Lamar Odom first. Um, mm -hmm. And Lamar Odom is take, take this one first. pretty difficult for me. And here's why. He has a Pro 2 tween, which I know a lot of people like Pro 2. It's okay. I like Pro 8 a ton better. Um, I just don't think I can go any higher than B. I really don't. I really, really don't. I'll, I'll ask you this. <laughs> What's the difference between KD and Odom? What do you see in the difference between those two cards? Okay, so, so first of all, they're both the same height. I want to I want to clarify that. Um, I just I like KD's release a little bit more, and I like Lamar's release. I really do. Um, but I'm more comfortable with KD's release. I would I would say that. Um, I feel like you can get your create a little more uh, opportunities on offense with KD. Um, I don't know. I'm just more comfortable with KD. Maybe that's because I use him more. But that's that's kind of my opinion on it. I hear you. I honestly don't see much at all between the two cards. Um, both the great cop cards, both the great unlimited cards. Let me ask you but this. Do you run Lamar at the point guard or small forward? Point guard for sure. Hmm, that's interesting. You run him at small forward? I, I just, for me, I, he just, I don't well, know. Well, I just depend a lot of that. And, and I, would, I, I would never, if KD was my point guard, he would be A tier. I, I would need to run him at shooting guard. Just as like that I secondary would, option. I would say if we were ranking Lamar Odom in terms of forwards, I would probably put him in the B category or C category. But I like think the other clipper Lamar Odom for this one, I, I would put him in S. I don't see the difference between KDs, but we'll put him in. But, right, but, we'll put him in A. You've got him in S. I got him in B. Does that work? I guess one hundred percent. Um, and yeah, this last card. I know you're not as high as some people. Yeah, um, not a lot. But I'll, I'll let you go with this one. Last one day, I'll let you take it off. I feel like if we put Lamar Odom at A, we got to put LaMelo at A. But I can't put him at S. Yeah, that's cool with me. Um, but yeah, we got a lot more cards to go over. This is just the first 25. And if you look at it, it's pretty balanced through and through. S has 100%. three cards. D has three cards. C has quite a few cards. But that's, that's kind, it's kind of tough, though, because we've only gone over half the cards. And if, you know, Bill Walton, all these cards kind of belong together. Now, it is difference of opinion. Could these cards go up one? Absolutely, some of them could. As such as, like, maybe a, a Chris Stapps. You know, if you like Chris Stapps, Jalen Brown, Blake, some of those cards might go up. Um, but overall, I do feel like this is a very good tier list. You know, I, I really, 100%. really do. We agree on, like, what, 80%, 80-ish percent, 85? Really, the only disagreements we had is the disagreements we knew we were going into with this tier list, to be honest. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. That's so true. Like, the... <laughs> like the Glenn Rice's of the world. We we knew already previously to this yeah. video that that was going to be a topic that, you know, was going to be disagreed upon. But I felt like, you know, this was a very good start to the list. Guys, make sure, this is just part one, to check out YBC's part two, or the part two to my and YBC's um, 
top 50 point guard tier list you know part two will be on his channel that link will be down in the description so make sure to go check that out guys i appreciate you guys um for showing crazy support recently on the channel guys i love y'all and hopefully y'all have a blessed day